Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Covering ICAS. Dude, I gotta do this again. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of ICAS 2022. That's not what I say. <laughs> It's the first video. It's the first one. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing video with Alias. I killed it again. You know what? We'll do that later. Hey Blake, what's up, dude? Look, I, I don't have my gain on, but I know you got yours. Can you talk to us about this new boat that you have here? NRS inflatable CUDA 126, right? That's right. This is the NRS fishing CUDA 126, 12 and a half foot long inflatable kayak. It is three chambered, so it has the drop stitch portion in the middle that's giving us all the rigidity. Um, all the performance of the boat comes right there. And then we have our two side tubes that are not drop stitched. These are gonna to inflate to about two PSI. Um, our deck, we can go all the way to, to 20 if we want to, giving us tons of stability. Uh, the boat's wide, so you can stand up very easily. You can sight cast, you can fish from, from the standing position or a sitting position. We're working with Yak Attack for all of our accessory mounts. So these are gonna come with switch pads right here in the bow, two up front and two more in the back. Um, so you can, you know, obviously the, with the Mighty Mount, you can do whatever you want, add all the accessories you need to really dial in your boat to make it yours. Best thing is when you're all done with, on the, for the day on the water, you don't need to put this in a trailer. You know, you can take off these accessories very quickly, pop the valves, roll this bad boy up and it's gonna fit in the trunk of the smallest rental car you took on your awesome adventure uh, vacation this year. So this is the CUDA 126, we're super proud of it. Comes in some other colors too. Um, so come check us out at nrs.com and uh, see them for yourself. I'm gonna put a link below. Now, can you talk about the, the size and how much capacity for weight and stuff like that? Uh, can you put a motor on it, all that stuff? Just yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the great thing about the CUDA is that you have so much customization um, that you can do. So, yeah, you can absolutely throw motor mounts on there. It's all up to you for what you're going to be able to create. There is a smaller version of this as well, uh, 10 and a half feet long, and that'll be for the, for the smaller packers. So, what do you get when you buy this? Do you get an air pump? you get a bag? Yeah, that's right. So, it's going to come with the seat, obviously. Uh, you're going to get a carry bag, a pump, and a repair kit. I heard from people that those repair kits are really good, the one that you guys sell. They are, yeah. I mean, you know, we've been making inflatable watercraft for almost 50 years now. Um, our boats are going down some of the toughest whitewater rivers in the world, so this thing is mega, mega durable. Um, that being said, it is an inflatable watercraft. You can poke a hole in this thing, um, but if you do, the repair kit that comes with it, the tear aid packs that go right on there for a quick fix, get you off the water. Um, and then you can do a, a long-term repair later on and it'll last forever. Our uh, question, like if you fish a lot of oyster beds and things like that, it, it, will you use this craft? I mean... You certainly can. Um, you know, we've been using these on Chesapeake Bay uh, on the oyster beds there. Now, I wouldn't recommend like ramming it up on the beds all day long. Yeah, uh, don't put a Torquito 1103 and run it through the oyster. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that being said, no, it, this is going to be very durable. It's going to slide over a lot of that stuff, it, handle those, those sharp edges. Um, this, this material is heavy, it's thick. Um, you really need to, to, to get it. What material is it and how thick it is? Like, I, on Amazon, you go right now, there's a bunch of paddleboards like this going for like a lot less money than this one. I'm for assuming. Sure. How much is this one? Uh, this one is, great question, 1400 1400 right, right. But Okay, so let's say it's 1400 Yeah. Uh, anyways, you're going to find out the specs. Prices change all the time. By right. tomorrow, it will be $2,500 <laughs> with inflation. Probably, yeah. No problem. But like, what makes this a better buy than those Amazon brands that, that you buy? Like, the, the biggest difference is that we know how to build inflatable watercraft. NRS has been doing this longer than anybody else. We were pioneers in the drop stitch technology. Um, go back and look up the old, the old NRS Geg Bob. You're gonna love that little, that little fishing boat. Um, it's not hard to find PVC. It's not hard to find a factory that will make you drop stitch material. Um, what's hard is learning how to put those pieces together in a way that's going to perform under high pressure, both in terms of your fishing and the, the air pressure inside of this watercraft, uh, for a long time. Uh, this has taken us a lot of years to dial in and figure out. NRS is an expert when it comes to building inflatable watercraft. We're not some fly-by-night organization. We're here for the, for the long run. Um, this is our 50th year in business. and. Uh, we know a thing or two about building boats, and that's what you're getting with the NRS brand. Awesome, man. And you know what? I believe you because your PFDs, 
That's how you say personal personal protection device. That's I always say the other word. Yeah, yeah, the, the <laughs> one for the, the picture. <laughs> uh, they're amazing. Thank you. And uh, they save life basically. So yeah. I know you will not put your name behind something that is not gonna work. And bro, we missed this. This is the most important thing right I here. I know, on this right? Boat. You know, yeah, it's, you, you, know. Have, you, you have the accountability stick right here, uh, literally you, at your feet there all you day go. long. You know how many fish I had to let go because I, I didn't have measuring tape? Right. Now it's built in. Right here. Now the question is, uh, I forgot the question. Anyways, <laughs> how big is this one? It, well, it, it says 12 and a half feet. 12 and uh, how wide? Uh, I think the beam on this is 30. Eight, but we have to take a look at it. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, so now, is are these available? Can you go buy it? Uh, first round is coming in uh, fall 2022. Now, people watching me are gonna ask me if I ever gonna review one of these on my channel. Yeah, man. We gotta, we gotta do something, man. I don't know. You probably don't know the, who I am, but because nobody. They're knows. on sale at NRS.com. Can you send me one for review? <laughs> and. You're probably gonna sell like ten of them and get your money back. There we plus go. More, because you know that's what I'm serious. Zip. Let's get you one. <laughs> awesome. This is just a, this is a stand-up paddleboard, right? So uh, for the people that are trying to go super minimalist to get out on the water, they don't want to deal with the seat um, and a lot of extra stuff. You can go super easy with an eye inflatable stand-up paddleboard. This is the hair and the 11 footer. Um, really stable. Really fun. Great for sight fishing, great for uh, adventure angling, you know, where getting into hard spots is really what you're trying to do. That's what the Heron is all about. And this one, you could, oh, it comes with a Yak Attack uh, attachment. Let's, That's right, you still have the switch pads on there, um, so you can add on the Mighty Mounts and then accessorize all day. And, and you could add more, right? It's no problem. That, that's the great thing about the switch pad. Like, yes, it comes with the two on the side and the one up here uh, on the deck, but you can easily glue more on. You could have, you know, mighty mounts up and down this thing, switch pads all over. I really like the idea of putting two of them right here in the rear mm -hmm. to uh, attach a motor to this thing. That's right. You can easily do that to put the rail across it and then put a uh, electric motor on there very, very easy to make I, a transom. I see you only have one fin and no other. Is that enough? It is because <laughs> you're not catching any ways to be carving on this bad boy, right? Uh, this is really all about tracking and going straight. So one fin is all you're gonna need in terms of uh, direction. So uh, this, stability. you know, like normal paddleboards, sometimes they do this. Mm -hmm. This is more rigid, this is gonna go. It is, the, the, with the drop stitch that we're using, the ability to blow this thing up to 20 PSI, um, you do still get a little bit of chatter on the water, but uh, it's so rigid. And then these side tubes give you a lot of stability as well and help quiet the boat quite a bit. And that's what I heard from other people that an inflatable is gonna make less, there's no hole slap basically. So that's right. you're gonna, not gonna scare the fish away. That's right. And I'm assuming with this, you could probably get on this skinny water, right? And still. Oh, I mean, the only, the only limitation is gonna be your fin, right? This thing does not, does not track oh, anything. Right. And about that, can you remove the fin and you still track well enough or? I mean, you can take the fin out and still paddle it. You do get a little bit more uh, uh, turning, you know, that, that, that paddle rotation uh, when you take your stroke. Uh, my advice to you there is learn how to do a really good uh, forward stroke with your uh, stand-up paddleboard, right? Engage your core. <laughs> I need to get that. Uh, you know what I do when I get one of these? I just sit on and I use them uh, like kayaks. I mean, <laughs> I, put the, I put this Yeti cooler on for my seat all the time on this bad boy. And when uh, you go fishing, what you put on that cooler? Sodas and bubbly water because I'm a healthy guy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and always wear your NRF PFD, right? That's right. Always have your PFD on. What's it, your favorite? The Chinook, obviously. You what? guys know what PFD stands for, right? Uh, professional something something? Prevents freaking drowning. There you go. <laughs> the the subs come with a PR valve, so you can't actually overinflate these. Um, you can still see 20 PSI on the ring there. Uh, so once it hits anything over 20, it'll start bleeding off. So if you leave this thing on the beach in the sun and forget about it, it's not going to burst on you. Wow. So it, can you inflate it with an electric pump? And you can as long as that pump can go that high. So it has to be one of the compressor pumps. Uh, like Bravo makes one. But So if it goes, let's say the electric pump could go to 30, yep. it will stop at 20 here? Like it will start... It won't stop at 20, but you have a PR about to bleed off that extra pressure. You should not use a compressor that does not have a... Um, a limit? A, a, yeah, an automatic shutoff on there. That, that, that can be dangerous. Even with the PR valve, you can still but work like, faster. Uh, for best practices, when you inflate this, should you just bring it up almost there and then do it with a pump or you just go? That would certainly be the safest way to go about it, absolutely. Um, and the pump that comes with this, 
uh, is, our, is our NRS Super 2 pump. So it has two stages, it has a high volume stage and a high pressure stage. Uh, even out of shape Blake can do this in about 10 minutes. Blake, you have a, a smaller belly than me, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sucking today. <laughs> awesome. Dude, I, I was gonna make a joke, but this is, this is serious. This is serious. If you're gonna be fishing, if you're gonna be on the water, on, on, a, on a small watercraft, you should wear what? What? Like, tell them, come on, come on. You gotta have your personal flotation device, your PFD on you all the time. Okay, so I see you got a lot of them here. You got inflatables. Yep. And you got the amazing Chinook. 2.0, is that the... Can you just tell us about it a little bit? This has to be the fourth or fifth generation of Chinook. Um, this whole PFD came about because we took our really popular mesh back platform, which is great for recreational kayaking um, and high back seats. And we took our fly fishing vest that we were wearing out in Idaho and we smashed them together. So it became a wearable tackle box that was also a PFD. And the Chinook was born and it has just been climbing in popularity ever since. Uh, it is currently the best selling kayak fishing PFD in the world. Um, so for 2023, you're just getting updated colors. The design is pretty much staying the same. Uh, we got some new updated colors, bringing back the bark from the original OG version. Um, I think this one's gonna be awesome. I love the blaze orange pops. Uh, you've got our charcoal uh, and silver option. So here's silver. Charcoal's up on the wall over there. And then, finally, our high-vis blaze orange option, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, because boaters, they don't, they don't care about small kayakers. They run at you. No, they're not looking. You no, know. they're not. I mean, really, we're not looking either. No, but I'm looking at the fish. Exactly. But, but I mean, we're the smaller fish. So. That's right. And when you want to bring your lady out with you, you can get her decked out in the NRS Sheenook. The women's version there you go awesome and what is this inflatable thing i say here oh yeah two inflatable options from nrs wow. you have the matic which is deployed by pulling the tab and then the ever popular automatic which is going to be the self-deploying one that gets when it gets wet no. it goes off no <laughs> you know sometimes you go in because you got to do something in the water uh -huh. <laughs> that's right uh, so. This one's a lot more popular with our bass guys, uh, people on big boats that are worried about falling off, uh, you know, offshore. Right. Most of our kayak anglers are using the Matic. Awesome. All right, so I see that you have another boat. Come yeah. over here, just a quick walkthrough. What is this? Is this like a kayak? This is, this is, this is the Pike Pro. So where the Cuda was your inflatable sit on top, the Pike is going to be more of a sit-in kayak. It's a little bit lower in the water. Um, also 12 and a half feet. What you're looking at right now is the Pike Pro, which is our collaboration with Yak Attack. So you get all of those switch pads again, foot pegs. Uh, it comes with the 13 by 16 black pack. Amazing. Uh, it comes with two of their pro rod holders. It comes with the cup holder. It comes with the paddle holder. Uh, the Pike Pro is the best way for you to just basically make one purchase and get it on the water as soon as it arrives. It's ready to go. You ready don't have to, to go. do anything. Comes with the paddle, everything. The best part, look at this. You get the ruler again, man. Hey, it's right in there. It's right there. And a comfy seat. Did you make this seat? We do. We do. Can you remove it and use it as a lawn chair on the water? I you mean, sure? not on the water, on the sand. You sure can. It just, it just attaches with these D-rings and these straps right here. So it comes out super easy. And if it gets choppy, you could just remove the seat and sit on the floor. That's right. Cool. Awesome. I see that the MSRP is $1,800. So for this, you get all that. Everything well, everything you see here, well, not everything is here, but most of what you see here. Yeah. Mo I mean, not, not, not the fishing rod? You're not going to include the fishing rod? Oh, come on. No, that's going home with me. Oh, OK. <laughs> and it comes with a net? Uh, it does not come with a net. So no net, no light, everything else is going to be awesome. No light. Oh, these are nice, too. Yeah, they are. I got all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, most of you guys already have this stuff already with your other boats. Yeah, they are. yeah, I got to send me all this stuff yep. for, for me to make videos. So, yeah, I'm familiar. I really like this. The black pack is amazing. You know you can sit on it? Even, yeah. even you like 300 pounds, you can sit on it. 300? Uh, Get out of my booth. <laughs> <laughs> cool stuff, man. Thank you again.